Pirates are one of the few genres that haven't been ruined by overuse in gaming, and I think you can even count the amount of good pirate games on one hand. It's a theme that's seldom seen in gaming, probably because it requires a huge amount of scope and historical accuracy to get it done right. Nonetheless, I think it's hard to find someone who doesn't enjoy a healthy bit of swashbuckling, and when someone somehow finds a way to mix that with the gameplay of Doom, then you know you're in for a crazy ride. Case in point is Pirate Doom, a mod for Doom that is something of a total conversion for the classic shooter, giving you 20 or so odd levels to blast your way through with appropriately themed weapons and enemies. It's one of the more interesting Doom mods available, and one of the few with such an exceptionally high level of polish and character. So you're probably wondering whether or not it's worth battening down the hatches and walking the plank. Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let's just find out, shall we? Part of what makes Pirate Doom so entertaining is that instead of building the game from scratch, it just kind of modifies everything to fit in with the theme. Imps, for instance, now throw axes and swords at you, as well as wearing tricorns that float slowly to the ground when they're killed. The Barons of Hell and Hell Knights have tattoos all up their arms, and the Revenants now fire parrots instead of fireballs. The Doom guys now sporting a nice looking eye patch, as are the basic zombie marines, who also utter out cliched pirate phrases instead of their usual demonic grunts. Finally, the Archviles have been replaced with Dowsim looking witch doctors. Now, if there's a more suitable way to work the Archviles into the setting, it sure as shit doesn't come to mind. Then there's a few other original enemy types as well. For instance, you come up against these little pygmy type native guys in some levels, and the final boss is someone most 90s gaming fans are going to be quite familiar with as well, but I won't spoil anything. In terms of the weapons, you'll start off with a flint pistol, which can be dual wielded, before getting a shotgun, double barreled shotgun, and a minigun later in the game, the sprites of which are all taken from another classic FPS game named Outlaws. Other weapons involve fast and slow firing cannons that replace the plasma rifle and rocket launcher, but by far the deadliest weapon in the game is the dynamite launcher. The rate of fire for this thing is just ludicrous, and it can absolutely decimate everything that gets in your path. The progression of weapons is a little bit slower than what I'd like, but when you realize how devastatingly powerful the better guns are, you realize why they kept them from you for so long, as it would have made the earlier levels trivial in difficulty. Oh, and did I mention the explosive barrels are replaced with barrels of rum? Anyway, it's all very entertaining and humorous, and the game has a lot of charm. Each of the levels feels like one of those mini worlds at a theme park like Disneyland, if not just a theme park ride in general. There's a level where you're exploring a sunken ghost ship, another where you're in a cave looking for a stockpile of treasure, and there's even one set in Tortuga where you move through inns and saloons, fighting back against all the scurvy dogs that get in your way. There's one level where you're moving through a cemetery with the ghosts of pirates attacking you, of course, all while the ghouls and ghost theme plays in the background. Yeah, that is as kick-ass as it sounds. I think my favorite is a sort of ancient underground Aztec temple that seems abandoned at first until you find it swarming with the locals. I don't want to say too much else because some of them throw a real curveball at you and you'll be tilting your head at some of the wacky shit this mod has on offer. It's just important to say they're all well designed, laid out and suitably challenging without being too difficult or cheap. It's usually a matter of finding the key to unlock the next door and so forth, but expecting it to be anything else is kind of redundant. And it is still going to take you a while to get through the mods couple dozen or so levels. Doom is one of those games you really have to play on the highest difficulties to get the best experience out of it, and Pirate Doom has its difficulty adjusted just right, meaning you're never going to be having too much trouble or ease making it to the exit. I was actually really surprised at how good some of the levels look as well. I mean, the sunken ghost ship era is actually kind of spooky, and the cemetery is also really atmospheric with great lighting and fog effects. Levels at nighttime have been given a sort of bluish hue, and it's definitely very appealing visually. So, what is there worth complaining about here? Well, it's always hard to find complaints with free mods like this. I guess the major complaint or point to bring up is that if you're not a fan of Doom, then there's not really any reason to spend your time on this one at all. Then again, I don't think there's too many of those types of people out there anyway. Also again, if you don't like the pirate theme, something I couldn't possibly fathom, then that's another reason not to play it. One thing I'm not fond of though is how they've removed the jump button from the game, or the way they make you use mouse look now as well. The Doom engine doesn't work that well for mouse looking because of the way it distorts the sprites, but obviously these are fairly trivial and don't ruin things overall. On the whole, I just can't think of any legitimate reason to not recommend this mod. I mean, I think I had a smile on my face pretty much the entire time I was playing it. 
At one point about midway through the mod, you're in an area with a large stage and ACDC's Highway to Hell starts playing as you engage in a fight with a bunch of Hell Knights and Revenants, and I dare anyone to find fault with something that awesome. Considering we're not given many other options for this genre, I think you can do far worse than Pirate Doom. It's easy to find online and all you need to do to get it running is download a free copy of GZ Doom, so check it out you scurvy dogs.